A three-way tie on the last tee with Ian Marshall, only one shot off the pace meant that driving was going to be key and that's exactly how it went down. Rhys Hatton straight down. The middle that is. What happened after that only Sean, Alex and Ian will be able to tell you. Although if you are sat next to them right now, I'd give it an hour or so before you ask them. Sean first, putting the H in hook. If a gallery groans like that, it's never good and Sean knew his chance had faded. He couldn't even muster a brave face. Next up in a gesture of support that was never intended came Marshall number two. Ian Marshall followed Sean with a left hook that knocked him on his backside. After the shootout drama, Ian didn't produce in the playoff, but like so many top four contenders this season, keep an eye on him at the Bucks. Alex Wan remained as the only serious challenge to Reese Hatton with a shot on the last. A drive in play could make him favourite. What he hit was anything but. The tension seriously <laughs> affecting his swing, the rough seriously affecting his chances. In the end, there was far too much of this on hole three and it cost Alex Ian and Sean Deere, leaving Reese Hatton in a kind of golfing utopia. And Reese was determined to enjoy his moment as the sun fought the rain for control of the sky over the KP club. Upset at finishing short with his second, he stayed positive and followed the rainbow to the pot of gold that was undoubtedly waiting for him. A monster putt dropping would have been a fitting end to this year's regional championship coverage, but it wasn't to be. In fact, Reese putted things back into the balance, leaving himself another tough one for the title. But it turned out to be the old one-two, and Hatton did indeed deliver the knockout blow just moments later. A terrific comeback win for Reese Hatton to claim the eighth and final regional title of this Trilby Tour season. Clayton Lucas is with the winner. You are now Mr. Yorkshire and North East. Yeah, feels fantastic. <laughs> Can't believe it. Yeah, brilliant. Did you honestly expect this is where you'd be no, when you turned up this morning? I, I was, my, my target for today was to just play tee to green and try and get in the in the 12 to get that Buckinghamshire and uh, to win it, it's just unbelievable. You were one over after the first player poll, but that was some fighting performance, wasn't it, to come yeah, back? Yeah, I can't really believe it. It hasn't, it hasn't really sunk in yet, to be honest. Uh, to get that birdie on the second playoff hole was just fantastic. Uh, good read from a caddy. I read it from off the right-hand side. He read it from off the left-hand side. <laughs> so it was a good read by him. Highlight of the day for, for both of you. That foot on the it's last. got to be the last foot. Brilliant. Yeah. It was never away from the hole, right in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. The Sky Plus button's going to get worn out now, isn't it? Yeah. I would say so, yeah. <laughs> but well done, guys. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Much. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Shot of the day happened when Ian Marshall was out of the running in the playoff, but in context with the crowd, the cameras, the light, and the stance, we pick this as shot of the day. And we'll see more of this kind of skill from all the players come the international amateur final. Right then, it's that time of day again. Here's William. The boys put a good show on here today. You know, we had some good players in that, that, uh, in that uh, playoff. We had one guy, 15 handicapper. Typical uh, situation with 15 handicappers, they start off well, and the minute anything goes wrong, the form goes, it's all over. And what, I mean, what did he shoot? Reese has shot one over, birdie to get right back in it, and that is no easy hole. And then he finished that with a beautiful, what, 15 footer? That's how you win a golf tournament. That's what you show your grandkids. We're just ordinary guys having great days of golf. If there's two roller coasters, and one's a nice easy one, the other one's gonna scare the life out of you. Which ones you don't wanna go on? And that's what the Trilby Tour's about. Congratulations to Reese Hatton, Trilby Tour champion of Yorkshire and the North East. That's it from the KP Club. It's time to buckle up now for the first of two very scary roller coaster rides as we head south to the Buckinghamshire for the International Amateur Final as our eight regional champions and 88 qualifiers prepare to do battle next week for the big one, the Trilby Tour Amateur title and a shot at playing against the pros in their Trilby event. For more information on all of the 2010 events, go to W www.williamhunttrilbytour.com We'll see you again soon.
flights, hotels, car hire. Netflights.com, sponsors of the William Hunt Trilby Tour.